Hello everybody, welcome to my first little system showcasing and I'm going to be showcasing the systems that I haven't shown on video yet. I have shown two systems on video already and they're uploaded on my channel. I have uploaded the Days of Play Limited Edition PlayStation 4, link to that in the description below. And I've also showcased an unboxing of a complete inbox original Xbox. That's also in the description below if you want to check that video out as well. Since collecting systems again, this is the first Xbox that I have collected. And it's the limited edition crystal Xbox. It wasn't complete in box, which I wish it was, but it would have been more expensive than the day that I had bought this. I had got this for 225 for the system itself. Well, with the controller and cables, of course, it's not just the system itself. I mean, how would I play it otherwise? But, and the, a year later, it went up to 350 instead of 250 regular price. So I think it was a good thing that I bought it the year that I got the sale price that I got on it. So I got for 225 instead of 250 plus. There is a reason why I'm not using this right now. Probably not anymore because of the fact that I kind of screwed this up. I had soft modded this Xbox first, and I think in July this year, I tried to revert this back to original factory settings, but I think I screwed up at one point, and now I can't turn this on. because when I tried to turn this on, it would boot up with an error code 16, which is basically the, when you turn on the original Xbox, right, you would see a date and time set up screen. So you would set up the date and time. That would be the first screen that you would see after the Xbox logo boot screen. And then it would take you after that to the Xbox dashboard. But in this, it doesn't do that anymore. It just comes up with the error code 16, but the date and time setup screen is no longer there. The Xbox logo shows up, and then it goes to the error code screen. But because the date and time is not there anymore, it's not going to boot into the normal dashboard or the soft modded dashboard. So I kind of screwed this up. So don't try to, if you have a soft modded Xbox, unless you know what the hell you're doing, or at least follow a video on YouTube or whatever, step by step by step, exactly. Don't do what I did, otherwise you'll get error code 16 and you'll kick yourself in the ass for doing that. So, so unfortunately right now I can't use this. I'm using my other Xbox, which thankfully I did get. Cause if I didn't get that at the time when I had a discount on that complete in box Xbox, I'd be without an Xbox right now. I wouldn't be able to record or work on Xbox games. So thankfully I had that and I did soft mod that, but I'm not going to revert that back to original factory settings. Hell no. I'm going to keep it the way it is so that way it'll still work. And yeah, I'm going to try and maybe see if online there's a way to actually get this back to normal, but as it is right now, if you can only like open this up and try to do a replacement on the board or maybe take out the clock capacitor or something to get that out of the system so then it, it can boot up as normal again, maybe I could do that. But as of right now, there's no way I can actually use, use this Xbox. So that is really unfortunate because I like the Crystal Xbox. I like using it. I was going to keep that in the box for a while but apparently I can't have nice things because apparently I ruined this. <laughs> so this is the first time that I've actually done this. The Nintendo Wii, you can soft mod that. It's the easiest soft mod in the world for a game console. You can soft mod the Wii and you can use homebrew and all that stuff. It's very, very easy to do and you cannot screw that up. You cannot screw that up. You'd have to be stupid and yeah, that's unfortunate, but what can you do? Taking out that clock capacitor might be the only thing that I can do, but even then, I don't know. The Crystal Xbox. It is a nice looking Xbox though. Probably my favorite as of right now looking Xbox. Cause I know there's a, a blue Xbox, a 
and two greens, one Mountain Dew green and a translucent halo green, which I, I do want to get at some point. They're expensive to get. I can only show you the stuff that I have got, and I hope you enjoy these little videos on showing what I have got right now. So if you like this video, leave a like on the video and comment down below, which is your favorite uh, looking Xbox. And if you have any suggestions on how to get this working again, to get out of error code 16, then leave a comment down below as well. And I'll see you next time for more. Later.